Hello, it's Chris, Eldritch Pipes, and today I'll be doing another tobacco review. Uh, one of my favourites, uh, Dunhill Dark Flake. But before I get to that, I'm going to um, just natter about a few things. Well, there's a pipe I was going to show you. This is a commission, but I thought it curious enough to show you the um, the idea was based on a a pitcher plant. And um, you can see the kind of uh, smoke stem as well. And I was just really pleased with the way the blast came out on this one. The um, the grain came up better than I was expecting. And again, I got another one of those. I don't, I did a, I don't think I showed it on the video, but um, I did another kind of. Uh, not taper stem. What's the opposite of a tape? A flare. A flared stem. And um, I just like the kind of the curve you get. It just kind of seems to make sense. There you are. So that's just a black uh, blast down to then taken back to the wood some. But, an unusual one, but uh, not the most unusual pipe I've made. But I will be making another pipe soon, based on the pitcher plant, which will be a more, even more extreme than this one. I was quite tempted to dye this one green, like the next one will be, because obviously pitcher plants are plants. Uh, and quite often green, but uh, that wasn't the look uh, Chris wanted, so um, we didn't go that way. But I think it kind of looks a little classy. If you are, that was something else I was going to say as well. If you're a customer that buys my resin, I am probably going to be changing my resin soon. So up till now I have been casting polyester which works great for me um, but it gives a lot of people trouble. It's, it is a kind of brittle plastic uh, and can sort of blow out on you which is to say um, if it's cold or if your your bit is blunt, it can it can shatter, uh, which is just never a nice thing. And if you drop the pipe onto a hard surface, it can shatter. And some people don't like the bite of the plastic because it's almost it's verging on glass-like, I would say. And so instead, I might be switching. This was a test cast. Um, and this stuff, uh, you may have heard of it, is a Lumalite, which is a polyurethane rather than a polyester. And it's as tough as old boots as far as I can make out. Uh, and um, yeah, it solves a lot of the problems, it's softer on the teeth as well. So. I may be switching to a Luma light pretty soon. The only downside is, is that the Luma light blanks are going to be more expensive, nearly twice the price, because the resin is nearly twice the price. Well, it's more than twice the price of polyester. But we'll see uh, if it's popular, then that's the way 
I'll go because there are a few benefits to a Luma light. Um, we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. In fact, the main reason I've been considering changing is because I've been talking to um, uh, a pipe factory uh, who were liking the stuff that I did, but um, but the polyester is it's tough to um, work with on a on a grand scale because it, it really needs to be worked by hand rather than machine because of its more delicate nature I suppose whereas the Illumilite can take quite a bit of um, stress so we're reviewing Dunhill's Dark Flake which is a vapour um, it's one of my favourite blends. I would describe this as a comforting smoke. It's just, um, it, it's toasty. Toasty, tasty. Um, I wish I knew what the the percentage of the components were uh, because uh, it's a dark flake and Parikh is dark so rather than um, if you've seen the Solani 633 which is another vapour but that's a very light flake now this is somewhat falling apart um, but you can see it's pretty dark. The flakes are usually quite coherent, but I've kind of broken it all up. It's kind of it's kind of moist. I think it's kind of perfect to just pop in the pipe and go. just got vague sour t sourness to it I would say it's just this is my kind of um, ultimate all day <laughs> smoke uh, not that I smoke all day but if I did this one would do it because you can just smoke it and enjoy it. I would say it does have a certain floralness to it. Not Lakeland, but I think it comes from the Parique. Parique is a, a really complex tobacco. I think that's why a lot of blenders use a very light hand when they use it in a blend. But I like the Perique to sort of come through a good bit. And it does with this blend. We talked about how I don't really like straight Virginias. Uh, it's like I do like the 633, uh, the Solani 633, but it's it's bordering on a straight Virginia. Um, it's just got enough, barely enough, uh, to keep it interesting. But this one, it, the, the balance is better. Yeah, 
this is one of the few blends actually that um, that I always keep an extra tin of. <laughs> I don't like to run out of Dunhill Dark Flake. Oh, speaking of which, I know there's been a lot of um, uh, discussion about the availability of Dunhill blends. And maybe in the States, you guys, uh, you're not able to get it anymore. Is that right? Um, although I've got a friend who is holidaying in the States and he just sent me a photograph the other day. He was in, now is it LJ Peretti? He was in an LJ Peretti shop. And he took a photo because he knew I'd be interested of the sort of wall of tobacco at the back and there was a tin of Dunhill Dark Flake there. So it st still can be found. Um, so far, no supply issues in the UK though. And no word of it being a problem, so. I know different people have said that they talk, have talked to people in the know and had letters and some have confirmed, yeah, it's going out of production and others have confirmed, no, it's not going out of production, so <laughs> anyone's guess, I think. I'm sure our tobacconists will shout up if, um, if it looks like there's going to be an issue. But no one has yet. So, there you go. I would recommend everybody give Dark Flake a shot. It's well worth it. It's really well worth it. And because the strength is not high on it as well, it really all is all in the flavour. So there's no sort of blowing your head off or anything like that. It gets a bit hot. I can't. I smoke too fast. <laughs> I just do. It does get a bit hot. So you might have to try and keep your cadence down. The walls on, to be fair, the walls on this billiard are, are not thick. There you go. Okay, so that's my review for Dunhill, Dark Blake. Go buy some. Uh, you'd be a fool not to. <laughs> All right, so till next time, uh, take it very easy and I'll see you again soon. Ta-da chaps.